Welcome back to Easy Editing with Edius. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at uh, keyboard shortcuts. As you start working with Edius, you will probably quickly discover that there is a lot of redundancy built into the program. In other words, Edius has set up the program so that there are many different ways to perform the same operation. In fact, there are three main ways to work within Edius. The first way is to work with buttons or icons as they are sometimes called and you've probably noticed these appearing at the top of say the timeline window or you go up to the bin window and start working with it and you see that it has these buttons or icons at the top. In fact uh, when Edius was first introduced uh, it was primarily based on icons and uh, there was very few uh, traditional menu options and if you were an editor coming from another type of program such as Avid Software or Adobe Premiere that uh, relied heavily on traditional menu options, it was uh, very difficult to even figure out how to do simple operations such as save as. You had to find the right icon and and maybe even the right little drop down arrow in order to discover the option save as. Well, thankfully, the program has matured over the years and we now have a full complement of traditional menu options and you can do practically almost any video editing task by uh, finding the appropriate menu option. A third way to work with Edius that is very helpful is through keyboard shortcuts. You may have already noticed that as you use the uh, traditional drop-down menus, there will also be these keyboard shortcuts assigned uh, to many of the menu options. And if you are familiar with computers at all, if you do word processing, you probably know a lot of the keyboard shortcuts already, uh, as Edius has adopted many of the familiar and common uh, keyboard shortcuts, such as Control S for save, Control Z for undo, or Control C for copy, Control V for paste, and so on. And so you can very quickly feel right at home with Edius as you discover uh, these keyboard shortcuts that work uh, for many of the similar type of options that uh, you do with uh, any type of uh, computer program. But then as you learn specific tasks within a video editing software program, you'll discover that it is very helpful to learn how to do these operations with a keyboard shortcut. It really saves time, saves a lot of clicking around. For example, if you wanted to copy a, a big portion of a timeline that you were working on and put it into another sequence, you could simply, with your mouse, lasso the section so that you select an area that you want to copy and paste. And once you have the area selected, simply hit Control C for copy, go to the other sequence that you want to copy that to, and simply hit Control V and you've brought that material over. So many of the same types of things that you're used to in word processing programs can be duplicated in a video editing software program, uh, many of the same familiar operations. Now if you are an experienced uh, video editor and you're coming from another software program, you have probably already uh, built up your muscle memory with keyboard shortcuts that you are accustomed to using in another program and you may want to continue to use those same keyboard shortcuts to perform the same type of operation in Edius and thankfully Edius allows you to change or customize your keyboard shortcuts. You go to settings and application settings and uh, if you're drop-down menu is closed, just go expand it by hitting the plus sign and also the plus sign under Customize and look for an option called Keyboard Shortcuts. And here is where you can customize your settings. You can sort on the operations that are available as keyboard shortcuts uh, alphabetically as well as the key that has been assigned. So if you're trying to figure out 
what happens when you hit the K key. Uh, you can uh, assort by assignment, look and see what is happening under K and how that K is complemented by the shift key, control key, or alt key. So for example, if we were to look at this item here, paste transition to endpoint, we would see that in order to do that with a keyboard shortcut, we would need to do the shift and alt and K at the same time. Now, if you're coming from another video editing software program, uh, you will probably find that many of the keyboard shortcuts in fact are the same as what you are used to in another program. For example, to set an endpoint uh, by hitting the I key. Well, let's check and see uh, what EDIUS has for that. And we see in fact that EDIUS by default has chosen the I key for set endpoint. The set out point is just what you would expect it to be, the O key. You will notice, for example, that the traditional spacebar starts uh, a clip in your play window, or if you're on the timeline window, spacebar goes ahead and uh, plays your timeline, hitting the spacebar again, pauses it, stops it. And uh, also the familiar JKL keys are used to uh, play the clips as well, hitting the L key. Uh, plays a clip forward. If you want to pause the clip, uh, hitting the K key, uh, hitting the J key uh, reverses the clip. Same on the timeline, your J, K, L keys can be used in a traditional way. However, you will probably find as you work with the program a little bit that some of the keyboard shortcuts that you are used to from another program don't work the same in EDIUS. And so you'll want to open up this keyboard shortcut customization window and try and find the operation that you are trying to change by looking at the wording here. And it may not be worded quite the same as what you're used to, so you may have to search through this a little bit. Uh, in fact, uh, the wording sometimes changes from version to version within EDIUS as a new version comes out. They might have changed the wording on this. So if what you see in here doesn't match up with your version of EDIUS that you're working on, that's what's going on there. Now, there's no real value in me giving you a list of my keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are a very personal thing depending on what programs you have used in the past, uh, what language you're working with, and that type of thing. So I won't bore you with the keyboard uh, shortcuts that I have set up with the exception of pointing out just a few things that I think are important for you to change. Go ahead and sort by operation and look for a item called delete between in and out. And you will probably see that EDIUS by default has set this to a standalone D key. And uh, what can happen here is you may set an in and out point way down your timeline and be working on another part of your program and uh, completely forget about the fact that you have this in and out point set and inadvertently hit your D key without realizing it. And you continue working maybe for an hour and your backup program has saved its default five times and you might even close the program. And then the next time you open the program, you realize that you're missing a big portion of your program and may have in fact lost hours of work. And so I recommend that you change this assignment to something that's much harder to hit by accident. Uh, go ahead and uh, find your delete between in and out and hit the assign button. And let's go and maybe make that control alt D. So now it's much harder to hit that by accident. You're actually going to have to hold three keys down at the same time in order to perform that operation. And uh, then hit close and hit apply. And now delete between in and out is much harder to do. Or if you prefer, in fact what I've done in my keyboard settings is set this to no assignment. And now it's much harder for me to delete uh, without realizing what's happening. Another shortcut that I would recommend uh, making a change to is Control O. And the reason I say that is because uh, just go ahead and hit Control O for a second. You'll see that uh, EDIUS asks you to save current project file. Well, well, what you've done with that Control O is asked EDIUS to open a new project. And of course, it just wants to give you the opportunity of saving the program that you're working on before you start a new one. Let's just cancel that. And notice what happens if we are up in the bin window and we hit control O. 
Now, EDIUS is asking you to do a completely different operation. It's asking you to go and search on your hard drives for media to include into your program. Strange as it may seem, EDIUS has two separate operations for the same keyboard assignment. Uh, if your focus is on the timeline or on your preview window and you hit Control O, it will be asking you to open a project. If your focus is in your bin window, and you do that by just clicking within your bin window, uh, then Control O is a completely different operation. And you know, as you're working with your menu options and you uh, pick up on some of these keyboard operations and you realize that, oh, I can just use Control O to add file whenever I want, and you start learning these keyboard shortcuts and you start using Control O as you're working with your bin window a lot to bring in media, uh, there may come a time, a day, when your focus is somewhere else like the timeline window and you hit control O to bring in a file from your hard drive and you realize that EDIUS is sending you in a whole different direction. So what I recommend is to go to your keyboard shortcuts and um, sort on operation and uh, look for open project and change the assignment to something like control P by hitting the control button, hitting the P button, and hitting close and apply. And you'll see that now our assignment is the P key as well as the control button is assigned and it shows that by having the on. And uh, I know control P is, is usually print in most uh, programs. Uh, in EDIUS control P does not have an assignment by default so I have chosen that simply because in English for me it stands like open project control P open project. Now of course depending on your language or depending on what you may be used to coming from another program you could of course set this to be any assignment and you'll notice that if you choose an assignment that is already used like say the control U key, EDIUS will let you know that that keyboard shortcut is already assigned to something else and it'll tell you what it's assigned to so you can decide is this something that I use a lot and if it's something that you'll never use, the time scale undo, well, I probably will never use that. So I can go ahead and override that. And now open project is set to control U. Now that we have made that change, uh, if we happen to hit control O when our focus is in the timeline, well, nothing happens. So that will limit our confusion. Now it's only when our focus is in the bin window that control O actually performs an operation. Okay, there's just a couple more that I'd like to point out here that uh, I use a lot and you might want to set up uh, at least some keyboard shortcut for. When you're working with the timeline, you are no doubt going to want to expand that timeline a lot so that you can get in and work with specific fine details, select the transitions themselves. Uh, but then there will be a lot of times when you want to see the bigger picture and you want to contract that timeline down. Well, one way that you can do it is go and in the corner of the timeline window point to this little slider bar and that performs that operation. But I like to have a keyboard shortcut assigned to that so that I'm not having to always find my mouse and grab a hold of it and grab the slider bar. I can do it much faster with a keyboard shortcut. So if you'd like to do that, just go ahead and open up the keyboard shortcuts again and search for an operation called time scale zoom in. And for me, I like to have the plus key assigned to this. I think I picked that up back in the days when I was working with Adobe Premiere. Uh, you'll notice here that it says the equals key, but um, in essence, that is the, the plus key. And then for time scale zoom out, I have assigned the minus key. You'll notice that there are actually two assignments that you can have for um, zooming in on your timeline and two for zooming out. So you could have uh, a couple of other options there as well as your plus and minus keys. Now there's one more that uh, we'll show as an example here and uh, that is apply the default transition. Um, something that uh, you'll do probably hundreds of times a day and that is add a transition. And rather than go to your effects palette and find that transition um, each time, you know, drag that dissolve over between the two. You can set up a keyboard shortcut for that and assign it so that it's very easy to add a transition. 
So let's go set that. And uh, this is one of those uh, things where the wording can change. You might look under Add Transition. And if you don't see it under Add Transition, you might want to go uh, and look for Apply Transition. And you don't see it there. Uh, even within the EDIUS program, this wording can change from version to version. Well, let's uh, maybe just to help us find this key, let's just uh, do a little search. And uh, so now we're sorted by the word transition. Um, toggle, shift cut, set transition to out point. Uh, here we go, set default transition. And you can set this to anything that uh, you like. Because I use the dissolve transition the most, I have set this to control D. Control D. Uh, but you can set it to anything you want. Let's say you want to use Control w Well, just open up your little keyboard window here and uh, hit the Control key and also the W key. Now you'll notice that you'll get a little warning here that that Control w has already been assigned to another operation. So just check and make sure it's not something that you use a lot, uh, Display Waveform. And it's probably all right to overwrite that if you want to have a different keyboard shortcut defined to displaying the waveform, then you can always set that later. But for me, I like Control D for dissolve. And now set default transition for my purposes is set to Control D. And now whenever I want to apply a dissolve, I simply place my cursor, my timeline cursor in between the two clips where I want to place a dissolve, hit the Control D key, and I now have a dissolve in place. Now something that's very nice is that whenever you change a keyboard shortcut or add a new keyboard shortcut, EDIUS will show you that in the drop-down menus. For example, you'll notice right now that there is no uh, keyboard shortcut to open the application settings. The only way I can open the application settings dialog box is with the drop-down menu. But notice that you can assign a keyboard shortcut for that operation. There are many operations that have no assignment. As you look through here, you can see a whole host of operations that could be assigned a keyboard shortcut, but currently have no assignment. Well, we can go in and we can look for application settings. Here it is here. We see that it has no assignment, but let's go in and assign that to, oh, let's say S. We get our little warning box here. Taking a look at it, I see it says move to next edit point. Well, that's not something that I use in my normal operation, so I'll go ahead and override that. Now, as I close that, apply, hit OK. Notice as I now go to settings, I see that I now have a keyboard shortcut displayed there right alongside of the application settings. And since I open this dialog box a lot, it's nice to have a keyboard shortcut assigned to that. And as I mentioned, you can save your keyboard shortcuts, and it's a good idea to do. You can save it to your hard drive or to a USB key. If you choose Export, uh, give it a name, and hit Save. Okay, well that's it for customizing your keyboard shortcuts.